Um, we have uh, uh, Mr. Thornwell. Yeah, about Argo's inspection. Yeah. So. Anyway, before I write my nail, Paul, this is my wife, Danielle. We own Argosy Home Inspections, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about our company here. So we own Argosy Inspections or Argosy Home Inspections. And, uh, um, so if you're going to represent the buyer, um, like you said, 15 days or so to get your grace period for a home inspection, um, what I'm going to tell you is whoever you choose, try to find someone who has a license. Because the state of California don't require home inspectors to have a license right now. They're working on it, but as of now. So I have my license up here, these three licenses right there. Do we need to put the clothes down? No, you don't have to. Uh, one minute. Okay. Yeah, that way, we have people in Las Vegas and Las Vegas oh, sure. that can both see it. Um, being a national, there's 40 out of 50 states require uh, home inspectors to have a national license. A national license is different from an affiliation like ASHI, NACI, any of those other companies, um, because that's a certificate. This is a national license. This is major components of the home. And um, you have to study just like you do to get your real estate license. You have to study and then take the test you know, to get that. So what we do, I use a thermal imaging camera, and I also use, you can pass this around if you want, so you can kind of see what that looks like. I also use a drone for my rooftop inspections. And this is what I fly to do my <laughs> rooftop inspections. <laughs> nice toy. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I was going to fly around the building here, but we're in a, a no-fly zone right here. So the FAA says five miles from the airport we can't fly. Really? There's anything? Yeah. We could try it, but they're cool. <laughs> anyway, there's another video on here I wanted to show you on the roof inspection. The roof inspection, yeah. That's convenient. Back then, I have agent walk up there and I cannot come down. They're scared. They're scared, yeah. yeah. It's, and you can trip and fall and all this other stuff. Okay. Um, this one here is a good one, too. Let's start with that one. Okay. If you get a real estate agent, don't walk up there to the roof inspection. Okay? Uh, I wouldn't recommend it because you want you up there, you're shaking, you don't want to come down. I fell a couple of times. Yeah. Yes. So on this video, what I did, I kind of speed up the, the beginning just to get through it. GoPro. And then when I take this video back home and upload it to my computer, I'll find out the images where it is broken tile. And then I'll freeze that frame and I'll put it on the inspection roof uh, section. Mm. Broken tile. Oh, you can see that guy walking right here real fast. Well, this is going kind of fast forward right now until we get to the end. This is a no, this is uh, it's, it's a home. It's a two-story home. I think it was in uh, Montana. So we already see some damage right here. Oh, and we see some damage here and here. Oh, okay. So that's why it's always good to get an inspector that if he's not going to walk the roof. Make sure he has a drone that can click to see that stuff. Because the water can get in there and ruin everything. There's another video. Anyway, so I took a still shot of this and I put me a broken tile in there. So the seller's going to either have to repair it, fix it, or credit you money right. to get it fixed. Okay. Good. 
there's another one right here. So what sets us apart from other inspection companies is we use the thermal imaging and the drone, and we give out credit card USB flash drives. So what this does, this is a flash drive. I download all the pictures that I take on the inspection, and I put it on here, and I give it to the client, and I give one to you, the agents. So because they always ask, hey, let me have the pictures, you know. And it's, I can't download enough and send an email. It just takes forever. So I just... Yeah, a lot of agents, they like that, so they can put their business card on there and put all the documents. That would say, where's the money? The money in there. <laughs> yeah. I just goes away for free. So. Um, there's one of these here is good. So this is an orbit over a rooftop condo in, in Irvine. So the condo, we know the roof, the exterior, the grounds are covered by the HOA. But... Not the roof. The roof is the, the homeowner. The homeowner? Yeah. Okay, because I was tell, uh, the agents always tell me that the roof is covered by the HOA. Uh, if there's roof damage, they have to fix it regardless. Oh. If it's a townhome, yes. But if it's a condo like this, homeowner is responsible. Okay, so a condo and townhome together. Yeah. All right. Um, this section out front is their livable section here. Because this is a condo, we have people living here and in the back. So I want to make sure that this front section here is good. And while I was doing my drone video for the roof, I was seeing this contractor up here. He's cleaning the vent lines for the dryer ductwork. Uh, so he's blowing. Pretty soon you'll see a big puff of smoke and stuff come out. So he's cleaning the lines, which was kind of odd. I just happened to be there when he's there doing this, you know. So this drone flying over there, he can hear it. Yeah. It sounds like a swarm of bees. So this is just stealth? Just stealth? Yeah. It's not too stealthy. Um, so I'm doing an orbit around there. Oh, yeah. Smoke. Yeah. So they had a contract to clean all the ducts, which is nice to do anyway, because they do get clogged up, and they do can cause a fire. And that's what I look for, too. When I'm doing an attic inspection, I look to make sure everything's connected, there's no water leaks above or below, and everything's attached. I was on a job the other day, and one of the ductworks came apart. It was coming out of the condenser unit, and the other coil was up here. The bottom duct line was here. It just fell apart. So they're blowing air into the attic. The heat, the cooling, the icy, it's blowing into the attic. So they have to fix that.